How strong is the maternal instinct in cats? What animal can be friends with a huge lion or a creepy hippo? And what do the pigeon and the chihuahua have in common? Today we'll find out the answers to these and many other questions. In this episode, I'll show you what happens when animals raise other animal species cubs. This is something you have to see. Let's go! Cat and Hedgehogs How can you get along with a whole crowd of hedgehogs? Well, this cat clearly loves a challenge. Not only is it taking care of a litter of hoglets, but it's also trying to replace its orphaned offspring with their mother. Surprisingly, the cat's milk seems to suit its stepchildren just fine. The maternal instinct kicked in as soon as the box with the newborn animals appeared at home. In the first week, the hoglets are not much different from kittens. They're weak, blind, and bald. Now they've grown up stronger and have become too radically different from their adoptive mother. It's not known how the cat feels, spending all day long side by side with the prickly creatures. But if its owner's to be believed, it's not going to abandon its brood. Hippo and Turtle Hippos are considered one of the most dangerous animals on the planet, but turtles, on the other hand, are hardly feared. However, these two animals were destined to become friends under very curious circumstances. Owen the Hippo came to the rehabilitation center of the nature reserve as a baby. In the center's enclosure, Owen was obviously bored, but the staff could do nothing to help it. The little hippo decided to make friends with its closest neighbor, a turtle named Mzi. However, it's worth noting that Mzi was very big for a turtle. In size, it was almost equal to Owen, although at first it was afraid of the hippo. Owen and Mzi quickly became inseparable. However, their friendship was destined to end one day, when the hippo became too big to safely interact with the turtle. It was moved to a separate enclosure. It didn't get bored. By that time, they had already found a female who moved in with it. It's unknown whether the friends remembered each other after the forced separation, but I want to believe that friendship doesn't end so quickly and easily. Coco and the Kittens Many animal lovers know this story. Coco the Gorilla, which unfortunately is no longer alive, can safely be considered a unique primate. It enjoyed watching Robin Williams movies, mastered basic emotional intelligence very early, and began to subtly sense relationships between creatures. However, experienced biologists immediately realized that the gorilla, which lived in the monkey orphanage, really wanted to have babies of its own. However, for a variety of reasons, it was not possible. So that the monkey didn't get bored, the shelter workers who cared for Coco put two kittens in its enclosure. Initially, some workers feared that such an experiment could end disastrously. However, events began to develop quite differently. A touching video shows Coco playing with the kittens. Apparently, the gorilla understands what fragile creatures it's dealing with. The monkey gently cuddles them, trying not to crush them. The gorilla tries to teach the kittens to play with toys. It takes a bite out of a toy pie, inviting its new friends to follow her example. This educational work was filmed by its handlers. Speaking of cats, as it turns out, these animals are not only capable of babysitting hoglets or playing with their adoptive mother gorilla. In terms of adopting other animals, they're second to none. Stay tuned to see what other cubs cats have raised, as well as to see other amazing examples of friendships between different species of animals. Let's move on. A cat named Catherine was supposed to have offspring soon, but fate decided otherwise. The animal was found in an abandoned warehouse. The new owners quickly realized that Catherine's condition was critical. They took it to the vets, but it became clear that the vets would not be able to save the kittens. After the surgery, Catherine was moved to an animal shelter. It didn't lose its will to live. It got along with other animals and people, but the staff could see that its longing for its lost motherhood didn't go away. That all changed when a whole litter of orphan puppies came into the shelter. Catherine had clearly found its calling. Ever since, it spent all its time surrounded by its foster sons. At first, the puppies were a little confused, but the desire to find a mother won, and the animals of different species became a real family. Catherine began to think of the puppies as its own children. It fed them, guarded them, and even licked their fur to tidy it up. Ruby and Animals Ruby the dog is an honorary employee of an Australian rehabilitation center. This center takes in animals which have been abused. Ruby's life wasn't exactly rosy in the past either, but once here it's found its true calling. 
Since 2009, the dog has become an indispensable assistant to the staff of the center. Ruby enjoys spending time with the animals in its care, no matter what species they belong to. It's equally friendly to sheep, birds, and even cats. What animal can the dangerous king of the jungle make friends with? As it turns out, it can be friends with a tiny Dachshund. Both species peacefully coexist in one of the enclosures of an exotic park in Oklahoma. At the same time, the staff never noticed that the lion cub showed any aggression to the dogs. The lion, called Bone Digger, was brought to the center as a cub. It would not have survived in the wild due to a rare bone-destroying disease. Here it met a cheerful Dachshund named Milo. Surprisingly, the couple became friends almost immediately. If you've watched this video carefully, you've probably already realized how strong the maternal instinct is in cats. Sometimes it extends to the most unusual species of animals. The cat in this video was able to teach the little squirrel its cat-like habits. A squirrel named Rocky was found by a woman named Karen Watkins after it fell from a tree. She was unable to return it to the nest, so she decided to put the animal in a box with her kittens and Emmy the cat. Emmy accepted the animal as its own and immediately began to take care of it. Now the squirrel thinks of it as its own mother. It even learned to purr like a cat. Rocky really loves its family, and it's fully learned all their traits and habits. And the squirrel's purring sounds amazing. Is it hard to surprise you? Then take a look at the heroes of the following story. Yes, it's a pigeon and a chihuahua, which became best friends. Part of the reason for their good relationship was a common misfortune. The pigeon, named German, was born with a rare anomaly that made it unable to fly, and the dog, named Lundy, could hardly move its paws. German quickly became friends with the other dogs which lived with it in the same house. However, it prefers to stay as close to Lundy as possible. Who knows, maybe together it's easier for them to overcome the injustice of fate. Chimpanzee and Tigers Many people adore domestic cats, and some monkeys, as it turned out, adore tigers. A female chimpanzee named Dudu is clearly capable of taking better care of animals than a cat or a dog, which was clearly demonstrated to the zoo staff. The primate thinks the tiger named Aaron is its best friend. Of course, in the wild, such friendship would be impossible, but in captivity, we have a unique opportunity to observe it. The zoo staff often posted touching videos of the communication between friends in the internet. Dudu hardly realized that one day its best friend would grow up to become a graceful and dangerous predator. It's a pity I wish such a cute relationship could last a lifetime. Tigress adopts piglets. A Thai zoo worker decided to conduct an experiment in taming tigers. For this purpose, baby tigers were fed by a pig and piglets were given to the tigress. None of the mothers rejected the cubs. They took care of them, licked them, and fed them with milk. As zoo officials say, such mixing of species should make the tigers more docile and show them that sometimes other animal species are friends, not food. Dog and Lambs We all know that dogs are the most loyal creatures on the planet. A spaniel named Jess has clearly found its calling. The dog is great at looking after orphan lambs. The video is so cute that it seems staged. But Louise, the spaniel's owner, says she never forced her pet to do anything. The dog has always loved dragging things from place to place. When it was discovered that such a hobby could be useful, Jess became fascinated and has been bringing buckets of milk to the pasture every day since. The dog feeds a group of orphan lambs. One might observe that the dog hardly knows what it's doing, but I think it understands perfectly well. Would it sit still for long minutes if it didn't understand the importance of its actions? That's all, guys. What other amazing examples of friendships between animals do you know? Share them in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.